Hey guys, it's Alan with Garage and Fanatics, and today we are jumping on the topic, will commercial gyms be closing? Now, the short answer is, yes, I think they will be closed. Now, you know, the long answer is this. So, Garage Gym Reviews, Coop, um, Basement Brandon, and then Alan Thrall have all, from Untamed Strength, have all jumped on this, uh, this topic. It's interesting, um, I'm kind of, in the middle, I do think garage gyms are going to expand. It's going to be a great thing, but I think um, commercial gyms will close. Big gyms, 24-hour LA Fitness. I, I just I can't see them lasting unless these government bailouts just become ridiculous, which they might because those companies employ a lot of people. But I, I see them closing. There's no way to possibly do this. The only logical answer to this for them is to up the price and better the experience. That's the only logical answer that I see. It's gonna be very difficult around this time. I'm not sure if people are gonna be willing to spend money, um, but definitely there will be transactions happening. You know, there's people with a lot of money saved and stuff and they don't mind spending it because they have enough to last their lifetime. So with that said, you know, I, I, I see gyms struggling a lot. You know, they have a heavy lease. They count on memberships from members who don't even show up to help pay the bills. A lot of them canceled when this whole COVID-19 started getting, you know, put out there on the media because obviously if I can't show up to my gym, why am I gonna be locked in there? I wanna cancel it. People don't cancel their gym membership, so they, they, they've always wanted that security of knowing they have a gym to go to just in case they change their mind and wanna start training that day. So that is an interesting like dynamic going on because you lose these members and now you're stuck with the members that really want to work out and, and it, it changes a lot, right? Because you're counting on members not showing up. You're counting on cardio equipment being organized in a certain way to be able to host a certain amount of members and you've got to open up that space now with the new restrictions. Uh, you know, you got to do a lot of stuff. You, you might lose out on some cardio equipment if your space is really tight. But um, yeah, so you're going to be left with the members that really want to work out. The capacity um, recommendations are around 30% from what I've been hearing. Um, keep in mind this whole virus thing can blow over, it could be a complete hoax and this whole thing's a lie, but let me keep this going. So around 30%, those are the recommendations. So it's 30%. What does that mean? That means 30% capacity. I'm not exactly sure what that means in a gym, but you know, they're going to be spaced out. It's not going to be as comfortable. Second, they're talking about, I believe LA Fitness or 24 hour fitness. I'm not sure which one they're saying you come in, you train for an hour and then you leave. Um, you get one hour, the gym closes for 30 minutes, three times 10, 30 minutes, um, and they clean it and then they let another set of members come in. Now, how are you going to get into the gym if there's so many members? Obviously, everyone's going to want to go in like the first day, like, you know, we've all been stuck at home. So they're going to have a lot of issues. People aren't going to be there, like going into the gym for an hour. Yeah, it's good. And I think that's a good idea. You know, training fast, an hour, being efficient. I think that's cool. But there's a lot of power lifters and bodybuilders who if you tell them to train for an hour and they're getting a pump and they're in the zone and you tell them to leave, they're going to be pissed. Like that's, that's the reality of it. Um, so I think big commercial gyms are going to struggle. Small gyms, on the other hand, I think they're at a very, very, very unique point. Um, you know, some might not make it. We had like, you know, they forced gyms to be closed for three months, but I think I think if I'm not wrong, I, I believe, I honestly believe that small gyms are at a unique point and they need to better the user experience at their gym to be able to charge more. That's the only way I see this uh, working out for small gyms. Just charge more, um, provide a better experience for your members and I think they'll do better. So do I think commercial gyms are closing? Yes, I believe they're closing. Do I think small gyms are closing? No, I think small gyms will be, get even bigger because people aren't gonna want to be part of a commercial gym. People don't wanna be a, bar, a, bar, uh, a part of like those gyms anymore. They would rather support small businesses. I think so, and at least that's what I believe, especially if these small businesses are able to brand and market themselves correctly to the people they want to um, you know, give them a unique gym experience to. I think you guys will be able to charge uh, more, maybe a lot more. Um, that also kind of goes with like, you know, stimulus and all that that's still coming. I think um, for the most part, people will be willing to get the economy rolling. You know, that's, uh, that's what we do here in America. You know, we sell consumerism. So I think, I think it's a unique uh, opportunity for small gyms. Big gyms are going to close. Garage gyms forever expanding. I think garage gyms are the coolest thing in the world. I don't think it's for everyone. 
Um, it's a huge investment, at least from my perspective, you have to spend like three grand to get a pretty good barbell, a power rack, a set of weights, and, and maybe a lap machine uh, with a low row. And that's a legit setup. That's all you need. That would be like super efficient, right? Um, so that's around three grand to get a good set that the average gym goer would be happy to happy with. And the, you know, people who go to gyms, they get access to a lot of equipment. That's, that's a unique experience, you know? Um, in my home gym, I have Four, uh, 20 by 2400 square feet. I roughly fit a power rack, uh, this cable machine, a punching bag, a lap machine, and a back raise unit. That's not much equipment for a 400 square foot space. Um, now gyms are a lot bigger, so they have a lot more equipment and they're able to keep it spaced out. So you'll be able to access more equipment versus less equipment. I think garage gyms are not for everyone. It's a huge investment. You gotta look at the time to set it up the time to research gym equipment and the time to purchase it, which right now it's kind of hard and it's pretty expensive. So with that said, uh, let me know what you think. Do you think garage gyms are the complete future? I, I mean, I, I don't even like saying that because I don't believe that at all. Um, but I, I think commercial gyms are going out of business. I think small gyms are at a unique point in time. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. If, if you own a business, I wish you the best. Um, I hope for your sake you're out there online on social media pushing your content really trying to get out there It's really really tough times. I mean, it's it's tough. That's, that's all I really got to say. Good luck guys Peace